Two left. First up, In a Violent Nature. Uh, this is a, the indie darling slasher film told from the point of view of a slasher, inspired by a lot of these slasher games like Friday the 13th. Now, the idea is like, hey, what if you were watching a slasher movie, but you only interacted with the humans when the slasher was there, and the whole time you're just following the undead killer, and it's just him for long periods of time stalking. Would that be interesting for 30 minutes? No. Would be interesting for over an hour? No. Let's find out. <laughs> Crystal already <laughs> spoiled it. Josie, what did you think of In a Violent Nature? <laughs> It's a, it's a pretty slow burn, I think. <laughs> oh, was uh, it slow? <laughs> uh, but I think like I I think my attitude towards it would be different if I was with like a group of my friends. Mm. Uh, it's no terrifier too, but <laughs> it's still pretty brutal and gory. Uh, and, and it's kind of like a fresh and interesting idea. I just don't think it hit that well. Mm. Um, another interesting I actually like really enjoyed was – the ambient sound throughout mm -hmm. yeah, that I really fucking enjoyed. Like there's literally no music until no, the none. end. And that was like, I, from a filmmaking point of view, that was really awesome to see. So just that point alone was, was really cool. I, I really dug that. So like I said, if I was with people, maybe I, I would have enjoyed it more, but, Joey C had a little too many magical brownies and uh, did <laughs> not. Magic brownies now? Did not. <laughs> I can't like imagine that? how slow it was. It was real <laughs> slow. Dude. He actually had the movie on pause for six hours. <laughs> <laughs> he won't move. <laughs> uh, Gil, what did you think of this movie? Did you like the part where you saw the killer's back? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you get to see so many yeah. different forms of back. You see him yeah. without the, the jacket on. You see him without the hat on. Uh, <laughs> I think I, I liked it better um, than you guys did, but not by much. Because uh, I, I didn't say I, if I liked it or not, but keep going. Well, I was speaking to the people who have spoken up to this oh. point. I apologize, Tony. I shouldn't have assumed that. Tony doesn't count. It's fine. <laughs> um, I automatically give the movie points just for trying something different. And after watching so many movies recently, just to see something where you're like a guy walking and nothing happening. I haven't seen that before. Uh, and if you are patient with it, I do feel like it starts to work. Like the tension of watching him just walk towards someone. And especially considering how large he is, you just start to imagine what's going to happen when he actually starts killing uh, and just, just destroying people. Mm. And Joey, you mentioned Terrifier, and I thought of that movie too because one thing that's really creepy is when you see somebody just dismantling a person and killing yeah. them slowly the, the and methodically. The kill is pretty brutal. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. And just the, uh, the, the kind of matter-of-fact way uh, they do it. There's a scene in, in the short film Terrifier. Uh, a girl walks into a gas station and sees the clown um, just cutting a guy to pieces, and he kind of just looks up while he's in the middle of it, and he's there's just no reaction from him at all. And that calmness is so creepy, and they do that yeah. in this movie too. But I will say, yeah, watching a person walk around can try your patience. And about halfway through the movie, I feel like I was starting to run out of it. And that also happens to be to be the point where people start to become aware of him. And it starts to become like a normal slasher just from his perspective. And I feel like it does the slasher thing of characters making very stupid decisions. Yeah. Uh, like these two friends get into an argument where one of them is like, you know, I think uh, there's a lot of people missing. I think maybe they're dead. Maybe we should leave. You want to leave? Go. And he throws his keys into the woods. That's just one example. There's a bunch of others. Basically, every decision from that point on is so dumb, I have to assume it was intentional. And I've seen people call the movie satirical, but I don't know what it would be satirizing. And I saw a quote from the director where he said, we didn't want to make this a mockery or a satire of what a slasher traditionally is. We wanted to pay homage to those films. So it's not a satire. Yeah. Uh, and I think what the movie does so well, like Joey, what you mentioned, how there's no score, it feels like it's got a very documentary feel. Mm. So when he's killing, it feels like he's actually killing people and it's horrifying. Yeah. But when you start to have these ridiculously over the top, poor decisions, even coming down to the necklace, if you remove that necklace, a dead guy comes to life and starts killing people. Mm. 
maybe don't have it just hanging in the woods where anyone can grab it. Even, <laughs> he's like, you took the necklace. Why would you do that? Because it's hanging there. Yeah. I found a necklace in the woods. <laughs> you didn't even think to put up a sign that says like, don't take necklace. Dead guy will Why kill you. Why was it you. not buried with the killer? Wouldn't that <laughs> make yeah, sense? It doesn't make any sense. Like he, he wants the necklace, but I don't want to hold it. If you make me hold it, I'll kill you. I want it hanging <laughs> seven feet above me. Okay. <laughs> um, well, Crystal, uh, what did you think? Is this the greatest slasher you've ever seen? Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> it, I heard a lot of people on Twitter and stuff, a lot of people in the Harf uh, family and community really do love this film. And I'm all about supporting indie films, low budget films. It just, oh, get off, Bobby. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you know, showing it, your cat on stream is not good luck. Yeah, I'll we've been you. over this. I mean, yeah. Although Joey continues, I've to had Bub role. here. <laughs> He's still here. He made it to Florida with me. Okay, he just oh. followed behind. Um, I when I first put it, I was really. I think my expectations for this film were very high because mm. so many people wanted to watch it or said good things about it. I put it on. I actually backed out of it about f at least five minutes in because I thought something was wrong with my screen. I said, is the audio just going and I'm not seeing anything? Like, <laughs> is there something wrong? Literally <laughs> backed out and went back in. I was like, and my boyfriend's in there. He's like, I think that's the movie. And I was like, no way. <laughs> and it was because then I saw some leaves blow and I was like, this is dumb. <laughs> and it, it just starts, off, it just set that tone for me for the rest of the film. Mm -hmm. I it felt like I was playing Chainsaw Massacre, the game. Yeah. Uh, it really did. A lot of just walking around in circles, not knowing what the fuck I was doing. That's mm. exactly what I felt. He just kept walking. I get showing that's his journey. He just walks and walks and just kind of happens to find people, I guess. I think he, uh, yeah, he's drawn to the, the the necklace. He knows where to go. He's drawn I like his little back. No, he wasn't. He wasn't drawn to it because he went to the one guy's house. Oh, I guess. Yeah, at one point, general, yeah. they drive by him and then he just oh, follows that right. car. I yeah, think. he's just kind of yeah. following, I guess, noises and things, but mm. he's just walking really slow for, he, he doesn't mm. run. He just walks and I get it. Yeah. He's walking. I don't know if you guys knew, but he likes to walk. He does like walk. to walk. I, I didn't notice that, Crystal. Okay, <laughs> I honestly thought I was um, watching him. If you Turned off the screen. If you just had the audio, you would think you were listening to like a meditation video. Yeah. You're listening that's to honestly, ASMR. That's yeah. what I really thought I was doing. Minutes in, you hear somebody screaming and dying. Yeah, um, like you hear those commercials sometimes for like meditation apps and it like plays it for a moment. That's what I felt like I was in. I was like, you know what? I could play this in the background of him just walking. I was like, little horror, little meditation, little ambient noise. Okay, I'm okay. It would with be this. good to have on in the background of like a Halloween party. Just have it. Yeah, projected yeah on just the him wall. walking. That would be fun. It's a good ambient movie. Um, I will say, if it wasn't trying to be comical, I would have picked a different mask because his mask. But once he get, he actually was cooler without the mask. Once he gets the mask, yeah. I'm like, all right, it's kind of goofy. Because yeah. they're trying to fill in his backstory. They're trying to make him too Jason. Yeah, too much like Very Jason. That's not what it is. Him going in and fucking stealing them. Why did he go in and steal the mask? Why? Cool. To look. That's cool. what he as a kid he always wore it, right? So yeah. he's like. It, but didn't I, he just kill people ten years ago? Where's that I mask? So. Did he not wear it? He didn't wear it. I don't question. know why he got to wear it now. We're going to need a prequel. <laughs> good question. We're going to need a prequel. Um, but the kills, I will say, if if it was short, okay, I'm going to go, hold on. If it wasn't as, um, I didn't realize it wasn't supposed to be funny. I thought it was supposed to be like kind of over the top, which kind of now kills me with that. Because yeah. uh, the characters were very dumb and I thought they were playing that as a joke. Mm. Um, but if it cut the walking scenes, that that movie could have been a short. It and be I thought it would have been long. great. Yeah, it'd be is, okay. fucking four those kills, those kills were fantastic. Yeah, I agree. So the one I, on the hill loved that, it. That's yeah. the standout one. Yeah, loved it. Sure. I believe I said the same thing about Skinnamarink, where I went, this would be an interesting short film. And in Skinnamarink's case, that was the case. There was yeah. a short film. I don't know if this had enough staying power for a feature. I enjoyed it. Um, I don't see me actually sitting and paying attention to it again. Uh, but the idea, and actually, 
So if you don't like this movie, it actually shows you why those other movies are good. It's like, hey, this is why you don't see it from the killer's point of view, because it would actually be pretty boring. So all those characters that you complain about, in comparison, at least they're talking and having conversations and getting naked or whatever. They're not just walking around the woods and playing with toy cars. Um, I did appreciate what it was trying to do. Uh, I actually, people are split on the ending. I was going to ask, just, what did you guys think? I... It took me a while, and then I realized what was going on. I'm like, oh, that's clever. So what was going on? It Because it's expecting you for, like, the killer to pop out. And they yeah. just keep drawing it out and out and out and out. So it's actually kind of cool when it doesn't happen. I Again, I don't think that scene needed to be, like, 20 minutes long. It could have been a five-minute scene and had the same effect. Uh, but I kind of like, cause that's the only time we're not with the killer. It mm -hmm. is suspenseful. The whole movie has trained you to be with the killer at all times. So you know what's happening. And that's the one time where you're taken out of your element. And you're like, okay, now I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, but it also, do you think that's, you but do you think that story that the lady was telling was that valuable? I think it was just something to distract you. Yeah, I honest. think they were just trying to tell a story interesting enough to keep your attention while you wait for, is he going to jump out and attack or yeah. not? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it was an interesting experiment. I am glad that it exists. I don't know if we need a sequel. They were talking about a sequel. I'm like, Officially announced. There's a poster Ooh. already. No, are you serious? <laughs> the, hook, wow. the hook is the two. Oh, uh, okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, I was um, curious about it. Yeah. I'm not going to rush to see that second one. This is I will walk like, slowly I, to go see it. I will walk slowly. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I will <laughs> film my walk to the theater. <laughs> Through the forest, though, please. Yes. Through I will the walk. forest, day and night. <laughs> we can't find um, Tony. That's he's probably story. at the gas station finding <laughs> the girls. Like, what? I wanted to get one of those GoPro <laughs> things that can hang on the back of me and just film my entire walk. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say about uh, in a violent nature. I think we all agree it was interesting, but it might not have fired for all of us. Now we're at the big one, guys. 